Do these look like the cliffs from your vision? Kind of stuck over here. Die! Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. 
As you wish. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet.
Then I'll follow. In these visions, I don't suppose you're getting a sense for who Persak is now. At least we're getting closer. Seems like we've made more progress together than I've made in a year. That depends on who you ask. I talked to everyone in Masuk before I left. I heard he was a strong leader, a dependable builder, a caring grandfather, a wise elder, a generous neighbor, a cunning negotiator. The odd thing is, many in Masuk weren't much older than me when Persak passed. And yet everyone wanted to make sure he heard about something in particular. Our trade with the Amawa. Our successful hunts. Peace with neighboring villages. It just seems odd that so few of us remember him beyond the things he did for the village. Most of his family members, the ones who knew him, are in their twilight years now. And Persak was too busy to spend much time with his younger relatives. Perhaps you're right. Anyway, what about this Theos character you're searching for? Seems like he was someone important to you. What do you remember about him? Not a lot to go on, huh? Hopefully you can pick up a few more clues about him while we're running around. Audra Arch, dead ahead. Moe Ixi Ana
Of course. There's something ahead. As you wish. Good shot with this. I'll follow you. I always get a strange feeling near the end of a hunt. Like an itch on the end of my nose. I feel like we're close. 
Not at all. After all this time. A part of me had already accepted that I'd never find him. That I'd be stuck wandering like this forever. I'll admit, I didn't believe you at first. Still didn't until now. I haven't spent this much time around anyone since the long hunts in Nasitok. But I've gotten to know you. Seen how you deal with Kith. Whatever else you turn out to be when we find Theos, you're honest. I know you wouldn't lead me astray in this. Good question. I guess that depends on who he is now. I'd like to think that traveling for five years entitles me to give him a solid earful about all of it. But what really matters to someone in Persok's position? The village he left behind? The family he likely won't remember? I hadn't thought of it that way. Who knows? When we find Theos, maybe you'll get your wish. Oh, almost had it. Let me try again. <laughs> so much for you. Ossek were the rock. Something? I have so much for you. Yeah. Ossek were the rock. Ossek were the rock. You mock us? Even the keepers of the stone will honor us after this hunt.
Auric's shadow. Any closer and you'll bleed out next to him. I never thought... I'd prepared myself to meet a stranger. To share the honor and history of my village with someone who had no knowledge of us. Even someone who'd scorn our way of life. I was going to tell him about the years of abundance in Masuk. How his granddaughters have hunted caribou, and his grandsons made our walls strong. But he'll be gone in minutes. There's no point to any of this, is there? If you've finished your chanting, we need to get to work before the meat spoils. Did your elders teach you even a mouse dropping's worth of decency? There will be other kills to dress and eat, but there will only be this one chance for Sagani to say her due respects. I've finished what I came to do. Let's go. Ready, Watcher. A deer in the middle of Air Glonfoth. And I wasted five years looking for it. I can't help but wonder what any of this meant. Whether Persoc's life with us even mattered when it could be covered up like tracks under new snow. Maybe you're right. But from down here, it's hard to see those designs. Enough about me. How about you? Do you feel like you understand the purpose of your search for Theos? Be careful what you wish for. Can't unlearn something like that. Anyway, Theos isn't getting any closer. I suppose we'd best keep after him. <laughs> 